Soaps are sodium or potassium salts of low chain fatty acids or carboxylic acids. Meanwhile, detergents are sodium salts of low chain alkyl sulfonic acids. Now, since soap are sodium or potassium salts and detergents are sodium salts, we have hard water. They contain dissolved calcium ion and magnesium ion. These are the ions present in hard water. These sodium salts in soaps, they form insoluble salts, insoluble calcium and magnesium salts respectively, which do not dissolve. Therefore, they begin to form scum. Meanwhile, the sodium salts in detergent react with calcium and magnesium ion to form soluble salts. So, while this is soluble in water, these ones are not soluble. So, looking at this question, detergents are more advantageous than soap in hard water districts. It is simply because on treatment with hard water, they form soluble calcium salts. Hello, you are welcome to chemistry class with Flash Isaac. Today, we shall be doing justice to soaps and detergents. In this class, we shall cover detergents, soaps and detergents, soft and hard water, which is hardness in water, soaps versus detergents, similarities between soaps and detergents, advantages and disadvantages of soaps and detergents. We shall also talk about formation of soaps, chemical reaction, which leads to the formation of soaps, then formation of detergents as well. After that, we shall summarize. Let's start with detergents. What is a detergent? A detergent or detergents are substances, substances, which when dissolved in water, has the ability to remove dirt, dirt or dirty from objects. That is a detergent. Any substance which when dissolved in water possesses the ability to remove dirt or to clean objects. A detergent can be soapless detergent or soapy detergent. Instead of saying soapy detergent, we simply say soap. Instead of saying soapless detergent, we simply say detergent. Or detergent. This is why we have soap and detergent. Soap and detergent are both detergents. Now you understand why I wrote detergent first, then soaps and detergents. How does this happen? Knowing that they have the ability to remove dirt from objects, they do this by reducing the surface tension of water. Surface tension is the force per unit length on the surface of water, which makes it act like it is covered by a skin. Sometimes when you look at water on a basin, it appears as if the surface is covered. In fact, you can put a needle on top of water carefully and the needle, it won't sink. It will be on top, it will float. Bed, if you go to the river side, you see beds, they walk on top of water, they don't sink. This is as a result of the surface tension of water, making it behave as if it is covered. So due to the surface tension of water, water doesn't easily dissolve in objects. Like in your window when it rains, you see droplets of water. They are there, so they don't really dissolve. So detergents, they reduce the surface tension of water. They are what you call cohesion and adhesion. Cohesion is the force of attraction between molecules of the same substance. For example, the cohesion of molecule is high. This is why it doesn't wet glasses. It will not wet glass. So the cohesion of mercury is stronger than its adhesion. That's why mercury does not wet glass. Why adhesion is the force of attraction between molecules of different substances? Now, when you pour water on a glass, the force of attraction between 
water at the uh, glass is called adhesive force. That is adhesion. So coercive force in object or in liquids make them to want to stick together. They don't want to go out. They love themselves. So detergents, soaps and detergents, they reduce the surface tension of water. Now look at something else. If this is water, this is detergent or soap, and this is grease. This is the cleaning action of water. The soap or detergent, it has two parts, right? One part is attracted to water, and the other part is attracted to grease. So with that, it brings them together. Water don't leave me, grease don't leave me. So it tries to remove that dirt. Hardness or cold in water. Soft water or hard water generally are water that don't form easily with uh, soap or detergent. They don't form leather easily. Sometimes you'll be washing, you apply soap, apply, apply, apply to water, it doesn't foam. You'll be wondering, I am wet wasting soap. Yeah, this thing is not even foaming. That water is simply hard water. Water that doesn't foam easily. In fact, that's one of the advantages of uh, detergent over soap. Detergents foam with hard water easily, but soap, they don't. So soap is very weak in hard water. Soaps are good cleaning agents in soft water, but the cleaning action of soap is drastically reduced in water, in hard water. Why? Hard water contains calcium ions and magnesium ions. These ions, they react with uh, molecules in water to form calcium and magnesium salts. And these salts form are insoluble. Insoluble. Therefore, they begin to form scum. So, soaps, they form scum in hard water. We we'll see that under the comparison later. Meanwhile, detergents react with calcium in hard water and they form soluble substance. So this is why detergents form easily, they form with hard water. Temporary and permanent hardness are types of hardness in water. Temporary hardness is simply hardness in water that can be removed by boiling. So to remove temporary hardness, we boil or we add slaked lime. And these are the compounds responsible for temporary hardness. HCO3 2 and so presence of calcium and magnesium salts, they result in temporary hardness. Now, permanent hardness, they are as a result of CaSO4 and NgSO4. Permanent hardness cannot be removed by boiling. How do we then reduce permanent hardness in water? Effects of hard water is simply a uh, fueling of kettles, then stalactite and stalagmite in caves. Now, hard water, hard water actually has advantages over soft water in the sense that hard water, they taste better. One, they help animals develop strong bones and they can be transmitted on lead pipe. They don't corrupt or wet lead pipes. So you can transport hard waters in lead pipe. This is a very important exam question. Why are why do we transport hard water over lead pipes and not soft water? This is because hard water doesn't dissolve lead pipes. Why soft waters, or soft water rather, do? Boiling and addition of slake lime. This is slake lime. Why? Or you can add ammonia to remove temporary hardness. For permanent hardness, we need to add a uh, caustic soda. NaOH is caustic soda. Then NA to CO3 dissolve in water to give you washing soda. It was 10 H2O. This is washing soda and this is uh, this is uh, washing soda and this is soda ash. Washing soda has 10 H2O in water. Why this is just soda ash? We can also use permutite or zeolite to remove permanent hardness in water. Now, soaps versus detergents. Let's see. Soaps versus detergents. Here, yeah, we talk more about soaps, more about detergents, their comparison, advantages and disadvantages. Let's see. The first is, soaps are formed 
or they are sodium salts of long chain carboxylic acids. Organic chemistry is the chemistry is the study of carbon and its compound, except the sulfide, carbides, oxides, and carbonates of carbon. Now, carbon, only the compound of carbon is more than the compound of every other element combined. It is due to two things. You may be asked, why do you have a lot or so much carbon compounds? Is hybridization an ability of carbon to catenate. Catenation is the ability of carbon to combine with itself and other elements to form single bond and double bond long chain. For example, in hydrocarbon, you see carbon, C, C, C. It's hydrogen, 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 hydrogen. So, salts are formed from long chain of carboxylic acid, which is carboxylic acid and with COOH. That is the functional group of carboxylic acid. So, we've gotten an intro into the formation of salts. So, the formula will be given after this explanation. Here, we have detergents. They are sodium salts of long chain benzene sulfuric acids or alkyl sulfates. Benzene is simply C, C, H, C. It contains a ring. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, C. You still see carbon forming compounds with alternating double bond. Double, single, double, single, double. This is benzene or simply. So, detergents can be from long chain uh, benzene sulfuric acid or alkyl sulfate. In the example I shall be giving, I shall use alkyl sulfates. Now, soaps are from natural sources, fats and oil, while detergents are from synthetic materials, hydrocarbons of petroleum or coal. That is where detergents are from. Soaps produce precipitate uh, scum in hard water or precipitate. I will show you a picture of scum for you to see. So, soaps, they, uh, they produce scum in hard water and they are not effective in hard water. So, soap will just waste. Meanwhile, detergents, hard water does not affect the cleaning uh, uh, action of detergents at all. This is because detergents, they react with calcium salt, the, uh, with the calcium in hard water to form soluble compounds. And soaps are biodegradable, so they can break down. Right by bacteria or other action, they can be broken down, which means soaps don't cause pollution. At least we have an advantage of soap over detergents, doesn't cause pollution. But detergents are non biodegradable and they kill aquatic life. So that is it on soap versus detergents. The long chain fatty or carboxylic acid, COOH acid, react with uh, OH group. Alcohol. Now, base is added as a catalyst, KOH or sodium hydroxide. Now, look at this. CH2N means very long chain. If N is 500, it means we have CH2, 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 up to 500. They are so, so long. So, to summarize it or to make it shorter, we put N here, which can be any large number. Now, look at this. It reacts to form sodium salts based on the catalyst. Catalyst, they have to boost or reduce the rate of reaction. This is form, this is form. So this is a typical salt. And water is also formed as well. Meanwhile, for detergents, we have long chain alcohol. N can be any number, very long. Why alcohol? Because of the presence of the OH group. That is the functional group of alcohols. While acid, we have COOH. Now, sulfonation, addition of aqueous H2SO4. In chemistry, when you see a compound, then AQ under aqueous, it means it is dissolved in water. That is aqueous substance. Then to form alkyl sulfonic acid, which is this guy, SOOH, right? OOH acid. OOOH. Now, we add base to neutralize. See, this is an acid. To neutralize, we have base. Remember, acid-base reaction leads to the formation of salt. So this is formed sodium alkyl sulfonate. This is a detergent. We can also be formed from benzene, like I said earlier. So that is it on soaps and detergents. Did you learn anything?
Did you find this class helpful? If yes, let me know how you feel using the comment box. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.